The bird came to join us this morning. You don't want to share your space with the bird? Why? Okay. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Tuesday. I don't know, Tuesday, August 24th. <laughs> and we're getting ready to check out the hotel. <laughs> It has uh, been a great night. The beds are, uh, I slept good, but they were a little stiff. Some, yeah, some people have complained about the beds, that they're too hard, um, but they do give you plenty of blankets, pillows, bathrooms to clean. So not really too much to claim to complain about, being that we only stayed one night, which is fine, it's okay. It has been uh, bad weather all week long. Yesterday it rained all day and today and it's getting ready to rain again. There's rain clouds and you can see the rain in the background beyond those buildings, but it is sprinkling over here. So this is our morning dew. Nice, beautiful ocean. And not a lot of people awake at this time of the hour, which is, which makes sense. But, yes. A beach, a beach is over there, right there. What is it? A beach is over there on the tree. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you see? I see beach party with a tree. Oh, wow. These are all hotels? Yeah, these are all hotels. So, I think that one right there is the Hilton. I like that one because it looks like the the pool oh yeah that's a nice pool there yeah all right let me go inside because i need to go ahead and get these kids ready for school so it's 6 54. we need to go we need to go you all ready to go one doing their hair the other one's retwisting his hair all right you two let's roll angel wants to stop at the mini mart downstairs yeah close the door as i stop at the mini mart close the door as i thank you <laughs> That one is. All right, down to the lobby. Ooh, look at that Starbucks line. It's pretty long. Yeah. So yeah, we're down in the lobby, guys. This is where you can find some of your other amenities down here. They do have a spa. I do recommend Heaven on Earth. I've never been to the one at the hotel. There is one downtown, and I love it. <coughs> but that's the spa there, Heaven on Earth. Highly recommend. And then we're going to go to the PX. This place is heaven for that. No chips, honey, not now, okay? We'll get some later, okay? No. All right. Yeah, it would have been nice to stay a week, but uh, it just didn't work in our favor. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I can't cry about things that are not meant to happen. So, when I come back though, after I drop the kids off from school, I'm gonna walk down here so I can show you guys what's beyond this point. Um, there is a restaurant, Beavis. It's a courtyard grill right here. So if you're hungry and you wanna go to get, get something to eat, there's a dine-in and takeout. COVID has certain restrictions here too as well. I guess I can talk about that a little later when I come back. Yes, it says wet floor. Mm-hmm. It's 658. I guess we got time to walk down here. Let me show you guys the pool. I don't know where Brandon and, and Angel Angels are. Food. Okay. Huh? What? I know, I see. We didn't get a chance to go to the pool. So with the pool, you have to make reservations due to COVID. So they are restricting um access so it doesn't get uh 
you know, crowded. And they do have two different pools. They did renovations to this to the pools back in 2013, 2014. So it was closed at that point in time. So this is the adult pool here. Okay, you get a cabana, or maybe not. Okay, so this is not the cabana, but you do, you know, they have chairs out here, tables. But this is the adult pool. The other pool's over there. Yeah, we're gonna walk down here. I guess we do have time to. Kaden yeah. says she likes my Crocs. I got those. I was all. Those short. thick block Crocs. Yeah. I like them. Yes. Oh, yeah? Okay. I don't recall. I think this is another restaurant here, too. Oh, ticket office. Okay, so if you want to watch a luau here at the hotel, there's a ticket office. Restrooms are right there. There's elevators down there, too. Okay. Then you have a another restaurant. This one is called... It's okay. This is your snack bar. So if you're at the beach or the pool, here you go. Um, this is open daily. Now, some of these amenities... I have to Zach, get clarity here. on because I know that once upon a time you didn't need to have reservations here at the hotel to go to the snack bar. I know the PX is open regardless as long as you have military ID. But for the pool you used to be able to just come at your leisure and not be a guest here at the hotel but I, I think that changed. Okay so you have the Halikoa Hotel Bar pretty nice it gets really lively at night a lot of people frequent okay okay but as you can tell guys right out here in the beach access so this is Waikiki Beach and it opens up to the full strip at the beachfront yeah no we're not going to the beach though today okay but but it's over there I gotta hurry up because the kids want to want to go to school today <laughs> we're not gonna go too far down but that's the beach there I mean the uh, pool and they have slides and things of that nature so I guess they're getting it ready and prepped for the day but like I said you have to make reservations to go to the pool um, and they have certain time slots that you will go and then when your time slot is over then you will have to vacate the premises and make another reservation so um, all right hey get out the water come on Sorry. come on get out the water all right guys let's go ahead and take you guys to school but it's a nice beautiful morning yeah, it is a very beautiful morning. If you've never done the Atlantis submarine tour, I'll put my video up there. That's the dock there, the loading dock, and it'll take you out to the middle of the ocean. Okay, not to, not in the far middle, but <laughs> it'll take you far out there. And you'll take a little ferry boat to where the sub is stationed out there in the water, and then you'll load onto the submarine, and you will go down under and get a first class view of what's underwater very nice experience i've done it three times already since i've been here so i i, I recommend that as well encouraged but we're going to try to eat breakfast at the Coco at Koalia. That was easy. She did say that recommendations, I'm sorry, <laughs> reservations were highly recommended. 
but we have a nice little outdoor view next to the beach. So I figured we go ahead and eat breakfast before we check out. I have a couple hours to do that, so why not enjoy it while I'm here? So again, we're at the Coco at Kalia. Mm -hmm. Breakfast and whatever it is. But yeah, breakfast is from 8.30 to 11. Let me see your mask. Do you know what you want to eat? Do you want pancakes? Yeah. You want pancakes? Okay. You want orange juice? Apple juice? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Any coffee for you? Uh, no, ma'am. Are you both ready? Yes. Um, can I get the, um, where am I? I guess the triple stack buttermilk pancakes for him, and I will have the, I guess the same. You want the um, kids? Uh, yes, kids. Mm -hmm. So this is the menu. They'll ask you to QR code, use the QR code to get the menu, but I just ordered some pancakes for myself and Zai and just eggs. They didn't have turkey sausage, so I chose not to get any meat this morning. Um, but the menu is very simple. <laughs> Disregard what I was watching, but yeah, so that's, so that's really it for breakfast. Did you want juice? Yes. Like what? I don't like water or milk or... But remember, water is healthy. But no, I want... But you like water. No, I want juice. You like uh, juice? Yes, and I want juice, not water. So what type of juice? I like apple juice. You want apple juice? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can ask to see if they have some apple juice. Is that alright? What, what do I get? What are you gonna order for mommy? Lemonade. Lemonade? I yes. don't like lemonade. <laughs> yeah, Let's lemonade. try something else. I don't like lemonade. <laughs> you want uh, grass water? <laughs> what type of water? Grass water. Grass water? Yes. No. <laughs> okay, breakfast is here. Didn't take long for them to cook and prepare that for us. Okay. This is the kid kids um, pancakes hold on wait 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 I'll do that see you're gonna make a mess wait a second um, so they get like five silver dollar pancakes I have three stacks and then cheese eggs um, and yeah that's gonna be breakfast for this morning so we have we have an hour to spare before we check out so I figured I just try to go back down to the beach and since the weather has cleared up it's a lot sunnier now, <clears throat> so the rain clouds are gone, but breakfast was nice. Pancakes were a little too thick for me, <laughs> for my liking, and I got, I didn't finish them, so I only ate half. But, you know, just to have a restaurant here in the morning for breakfast is convenient. But I wouldn't eat there again, in my opinion, because you'll pretty much be eating the same thing every day. Breakfast, I mean pancakes, sausage, eggs, what have you. So, time check, it is, it's 9.20, check out time is at 11. So I have a good 30 minutes to spare, so I'm gonna take us out to the beach. We're not gonna get in the water, I just wanna take them out there and then to show you guys around a little bit better than I did this morning. I know it's the beach. The weather is so much better now. I see some people, oh yeah, parasailing. Um, if you haven't watched that video, Anthony and I did that for our anniversary a couple years back while we were stationed here. And they get started bright and early. I think the earliest is 07, 07, 30, 8 o'clock. And I also took the kid's godmother parasailing with Angel. And they enjoyed it. They were, of course, afraid at first. Let's go. Yeah, we're not gonna go. We're not gonna go in the sand because we don't want to track sand in the car in the, in the hotel, okay? We're just gonna walk alongside this strip here. A lot of catamarans, surfers, snorkelers, everybody is pretty much out in the morning. Now, of course, by the afternoon, this beach will get crowded. Um, I'm sure that's a given. This is a prime location for tourists. But it is a beautiful day today. 
And you like the sand, don't you? Yes. Yeah. I know. But you won't stay out of it despite what I just said. <laughs> Come over here. Okay, and the pool's open now. So this is the main pool of Halikoa. And really nice. They have some chairs up on the upper level of the pool. You have a beach, then you have the kids slide and pirate ship down there. So they're open quite early, which is nice. Cause like I said, it's 9.30 right now. Uh, very nice pool. People don't complain about it at all. Lifeguards on duty. You see a couple of people up there getting ready to go down the slide. And that was one thing I wanted to, to do while we were gonna stay here was take the kids to the pool. Especially after they get back from school. But here they go going down the slide and whoosh. But yes, this wasn't here a couple years back. So when they did the renovations to this pool, they added a couple of those um, fun activities for people to enjoy. Very nice though, you know. Like I said, I, I don't think they are open to um, guests without, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't think they are open to military ID card holders or DOD or what have you. I think now it's just strictly reserved. The pool is reserved for guests only, um, especially due to COVID. They want to minimize the amount of people that frequent the pool. Okay, out the sand. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm back in the room, if you haven't noticed, okay? So not too long ago i had bell service come upstairs grab all of my luggage bring it back down i was going to check out and we were going to be on a merry way to the next hotel right wrong so i get to the reception desk and there was a different receptionist who wasn't there yesterday brand new to me and i approached her i told her hello good morning i'm getting ready to check out of room such and such and then she looks kind of confused and a little, you know, very confused. And in my mind, I'm already, I'm already like, yeah, I know, because who stays a night and leaves the next day? I just checked in yesterday. And I almost did not say anything because I fought hard last night to stay in this room until the day we have to leave, but it was not working. No one wanted to budge last night. No one wanted to work with me. I mean, I felt like customer service was unavailable last night. But I said, you know what, Sherelle, speak up. Say something again. So I told her, I said, yeah, yesterday was a bit nerve wracking. It was very frustrating to say the least. When we originally made our reservations for this room, we were quoted at 179 a night per room. And uh, once we arrived here, it was changed to reflect the PCS TDY TLA rate. And that really shifted our, our thought process about whether or not we need to stay here. So, and you know, she really wasn't saying much. She was just really thinking, thinking really hard. And I didn't know whether, whether that was a good thing or a bad thing, but I was like, well, I guess this isn't gonna work out, Sherelle. And, you know, I was just explaining to her that I, I've been moving back and forth, just doing everything on my own recently. Um, and I'm just really tired and I just want a place to stay right now. So she said, okay, well, I can, she said, I'm looking at your whole profile. And yes, I do see that you were originally um, going to be charged $179 a night. Um, what I can do for you is give you the 264 rate um and at first i was like oh okay thank you so much but then i thought about it i'm like no that can't work either because we have to stay within our tla reimbursement amount and that really puts us there's really no difference in what we're already paying for right now and i i, I expressed to her that it, it was just very frustrating that i was trying to explain this last night I said, I wish someone had mentioned this to us when we originally booked this room. That way we have, we would have never made our reservations here knowing that we were not gonna be within our TLA uh, reimbursement amount. So therefore we wasted time, I'm already here. I got situated last night and now we have to pack up and leave and go somewhere else. 
So she says, okay, well, hold on one second, one second. And she said, I'm gonna go talk to my manager. I, I said, okay. And I mean, that conversation probably lasted no more than five minutes. And she comes back and she says, okay, so my manager said that she has no problem giving you this room for the rate of what was originally quoted to you all. And I said, ma'am, you have no idea how much you've been a service to me today. I, I, I almost cried, I almost teared. I know it doesn't sound like an emotional situation, but it really is for me. <laughs> it really was for me. And I, I told her that she, she's a lead, she's in a supervisor pr pr uh, position. That's why she had a little bit more pull than the lady who I dealt with yesterday. But I told her it would have been nice if that same woman that I dealt with at the receptionist desk probably went a little bit high, um, you know, a little above and beyond in this situation, knowing that what I had explained to her just really was an inconvenience for me. Now, granted, I know she was doing her job. I didn't give her any, uh, you know, pushback in regards to that. I was just very, you know, complacent and just saying, okay, ma'am, I get it. You know, thank you so much. We'll probably just check out tomorrow. You know, I didn't want to cause any havoc. It really wasn't that big of a deal. It really wasn't. But it just would have been nice if that attempt had been made yesterday.